lot. Whoever's gripping a coffee. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I got to do a night shift on Sunday night because the French A, A&E Yeah, I haven't done night shift in a while. It's quite challenging when you get to this time. Oh, don't I'm not filming yet. Oh, oh. oh right. <laughs> this is a documentary we're doing. Oh, really? <laughs> on documentaries. <laughs>
amazing because uh, they've sung non-stop from 11 through to, well they're on overtime now because the tennis here. Uh, okay, so can we just give St. Bede's Catholic College Choir a great big round of applause for what they've done Please all make the music of the college. And the young people themselves are amazing. Now we hand over to Paul, who's going to take us on to the next stage. I know a couple of the young people are going to the interview. I hope you've worked that with Mrs. Camp. All right, so uh, excellent. So needs yo. spread off through the night. We started as one big choir for like the first half an hour. And then we started taking shifts and it was all pretty lively. And then I think it got to about one o'clock and everybody just left. Apart from me and Owen, who up next, who just stuck around for the whole night. And what sort of preparation have you done for this? Or have you just sort of, I don't know. We did lunch practice quite a bit, quite a few, like in the coming week. For it, so we had about four main songs, I think, four or five, which we practiced, and then we just bought a hymn book and hoped for the best. <laughs> Did you practice any sleep deprivation or singing whilst sleep deprived? I can't say that I did, although I do go to school most of the time sleep deprived, so I guess you could say that's pretty good practice. <laughs> but apart from that, I just remember that. Just talk to me again, because I'm only going to use about 15 seconds of this. Um, again, about how it's been overnight, how many people did the whole shift, how long you've been singing for, and how was it? Um, we've been singing from about half eleven until nine o'clock this morning. I say nine o'clock or eight. So it's been pretty long, but people tend to drop out after a while. So I think it. Ended up being about five or six on stage at one point, having been starting with about 13. <laughs> when I've done night shifts in the past, it's always been that um, two to four has always been the worst bit for me, um, when you're supposed to be probably like really deep sleep. Which was the hardest part of the night for you? Um, probably when I realised it was three o'clock in the morning and I realised that we still had about five hours to go. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't in the best of moods then, but I had loads of energy drinks, so I was good. Well done, that is amazing. See, that's how it's done, everybody. And then I will uh, wrap up the video. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was really good. Well done. How are you feeling post night shift? I'm all right actually. I don't really feel that bad. Um, I don't get any um, I was playing music a lot tonight. Um, but yeah, I suppose I'll sleep today and tomorrow and hopefully I'll be fine for school on Monday. <laughs> did you, did you play the guitar, did you? Did you yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, was there times when you, your fingers weren't quite coordinating right or were you fine? I suppose I was just having more 
fun and raising money for the church than, and the school than worrying about my fingers. <laughs> so it was more one-sided than worrying about my time. And um, sort of preparation-wise, have you done, other than rehearsing songs, anything sort of sleep decoration-wise, or just sort of wing it? Just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't, well, I didn't know if I'd sleep because I didn't know how the night would plan out, but I think it was good. Um, and I think everyone seems quite fresh-faced this morning. And in the last few songs, you were doing harmonies. I mean, they're hard enough at the best of times, let alone when you're like feeling like you've been dug up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was on my own, but I'm surrounded by great singers, so when you have great singers around you, it sort of brings you up as well. So as a choir, we're really strong together. Thank you, and that's brilliant. Lovely. I'm just going to get that mic back now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, it's not a rephrase. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Sure. I've already had some porridge, so thank you very much. No, I just I need that to just go for <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, Malcolm Strange. It's M A L C O M S T R A G E. I have these four responsibilities: Peter Scrumptious Control and uh, Assistant Principal of Schools. Thank you. 